The Illinois Policy Institute is at it again. This time, they're spreading lies about the fair tax, trying to create fear so we Illinoisans vote against our best interests. I know, right? Only the IPI could be against something designed to level the playing field for all Illinoisans and raise $3 billion a year to help fund our schools and human services. The IPI is more than against the fair tax. They're running a major disinformation campaign. Check out this webpage on the IPI website. It's filled with a bunch of anti-fair tax headlines. But if you click on these stories and start to read them, you can tell they're not legitimate. They're filled with lies and aren't even news. So here we go. IPI fair tax lie number one. The fair tax is just a tax increase. Actually, the truth is 97% of people who pay taxes in Illinois will pay less or the same amount under the fair tax. Only the wealthiest top 3% of Illinoisans, you know, the people who help fund the IPI and its anti-tax, anti-government, anti-union rumor mill, yeah, well, those folks may pay a little more, but only on income upwards of a quarter million dollars a year. IPI fair tax lie number two. The fair tax will mean retirement income is taxed. Nope, that's absolutely false. If the fair tax amendment passes this fall, retirement income will not be taxed. Illinois is one of just a dozen states that does not collect income tax on any retirement income like your 401k, IRA, pension, or social security benefits. And passing the fair tax won't change that. IPI fair tax lie number three. The fair tax is a blank check for future tax increases. Eliminating Illinois' flat tax protection would make it easier for home rule cities to begin charging a city income tax. That statement is entirely untrue. There is no blank check or city income tax associated with the fair tax. Voters know exactly what new rates will go into effect when the fair tax amendment is approved. Going forward, fair tax reform doesn't give legislators any more or less power to change tax rates than they've always had. IPI fair tax lie number four. The fair tax will hurt small businesses. Here's the real deal on small businesses. If you're a small business owner that makes $250,000 a year or less in profit, you will likely see no income tax increase. And here's the truth about the fair tax. Our current system is broken. It puts too much burden on middle and low income families. Those who make the least now pay almost double what the most affluent Illinoisans pay in taxes when you compare what they're paying in taxes to their income. That's wrong. The fair tax means reform. It means the wealthiest 3% of people in Illinois will start paying their fair share. Reforming our tax system would raise billions of additional dollars a year. That's money we can use to help fund our public schools, pay for human services, and pay down the state's bill backlog. Other states already know the truth, 34 of them to be exact, and the federal government have already adopted this tax structure because it's fair. You can check it out for yourself. Head to ieafairtax.org and click on the fair tax calculator to see how much your family will save. And while you're there, sign our petition and pledge to support the fair tax when you cast your vote in November. It's the right thing to do for all of Illinois.